Hi everyone. Today we're going to go over an often overlooked part of your Shopify store, your footer. We are going to discuss what to add, what to avoid, and how to make it look professional. So stick around because I will be going over all the tips and tricks for this often overlooked part of your store. Before we start, if you are new here and you wanted to get started on Shopify for free, please use the link down below as we are offering our viewers a free trial and your first month for just a dollar down below. This is a zero risk offer with a money back guarantee and you can get started without a credit card. By the way, all the links in the description are affiliate links and we do get a referral fee for them. This is how we're able to provide you with free content. So I just like to say thank you up front. So let's get started on that footer. A good footer will not only show your policy pages, but it will also have links to your about us page, your contact us page, and your social media links. You're also going to want to show your email sign up link along with any other resources that are important to your brand. This could be anything from an affiliate sign up page link to a wholesale portal. Building your footer is not that difficult. However, before beginning that, I want to show you some different sites and their footers so that you can have something to use as inspiration. I want to start off with the Kylie Cosmetics website and we're going to scroll down to the footer to see what that looks like. As you can see, Kylie Cosmetics is housing a pretty basic footer menu. They have a section for email signups, they have social media links, their quick links such as contact us, FAQs, shipping, order tracking rewards, and then they have their policy pages down below. This is an example of a super simple menu that's easy to navigate. On the design end, I believe it could be designed a little differently so that the footer is not so large and could be compacted into different columns. An example of that would be something like the skim site. We scroll down to the footer on the skim site. As you can see, she has three different columns with the middle one being an email signup and SMS signup. And she has two other columns with links, help and more. While this is divided into a help column and a more column, I believe this could be organized a little differently. We don't necessarily want to mix in policy pages with order information as that can be confusing for the customer. We also have the social media links all the way down below, which can be a little difficult to find. Let's move on to the all birds footer. I'm going to scroll down. This is another rather large footer section. I do like that it's a bit more organized as it has help in one column, shop in another column, and just more links about the company itself in the third column. However, if you pay close attention, there's a few things here that you can change. Technically, shoe care can be moved over to help. There can also perhaps be another column added here for work with us as in affiliates and bulk orders, careers, and investors. This would help the footer be minimized slightly, which can be a little more aesthetically pleasing. Again, the social media links are brought all the way down to the bottom left-hand side, which also could be moved up higher to perhaps this empty space right here. Lastly, I wanna go over the Gymshark footer. I do like how this footer is set up. It's easy to navigate. There isn't much negative space which makes it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. As you can see they've broken down their columns into help, my account, and pages. They also have more about Gymshark on the right hand side where you can look at their blog, sign up for their email, or go into their training portal. The only thing I would do a little differently here is to take into consideration the column lengths and perhaps order them from longest to shortest. So now let's talk about how we can set up your footer. On your shop Shopify dashboard on the left hand side of the screen, you're going to click online store. Once here, you're going to navigate down to navigation and go ahead and click on that. And this is where you will be setting up your various menus. When you first set up your Shopify store, you're going to have menus already set up for you. And that will typically include your main menu and your footer menu. However, in order for you to be able to have multiple columns, such as Gymshark has here, you're going to want to create 
create various footer menus that you can then link onto your page. Let's first start by adjusting the original footer menu. So first I'm going to delete the search from the menu as it's not a policy page. Then I'm going to go in and link the remainder of my policies that I have created. I'm going to name this specific footer menu policy links. Now that we've created a specific menu for our policies, let's go ahead and create one for our shop items. I'm going to click add menu and I'm going to name this menu shop. From here, I'm going to be adding different collections that are available in my shop. If available, I may want to add an order tracking link here as well. I'm just going to click save and now we have a shop column. Now we have two different blocks that we can link onto our footer page. This is going to be totally customizable. If you do have a wholesale section and you'd like to link your portal, if you have an affiliate portal that you would like to link, all that can be done by using different menus via the navigation tab. Once you have your footer menus created, you are going to go into online store and then you're going to go to customize. From here, you can scroll down to your footer menu to see what it currently looks like. And on the left-hand side of the screen, you can, you can open the tabs under footer to see what's available for you. First, let's click on the footer tab itself. We can change the color scheme to make sure that the footer stands out. You can choose to show email signup or not. As you can see, I've enabled the show social media icons, which are not currently showing, and there's a reason for that. In order to show your social media icons, you're going to want to go into theme settings. You're going to want to scroll down to social media, and this is where you you are able to add your social media links. Once they're added here, they will show up here. I'm just gonna click that so they show up. If you're not working with multiple languages, I would disable the language selector, and I would also disable your country region selector. This is going to be completely a personal preference and dependent on if you sell out of the country or not. Now, right here where it says policy links, as you can see, we already have the policies linked to the footer menu. However, if you don't want them to show up as a block and you would like them to show up down here, you can always click show policy links and they will be shown at the bottom of the site. This is similar to how Kylie Cosmetics has it set up right here. I personally prefer that they show up as a block, so I'm going to disable that option. Now that we have the general settings of the footer set up, let's go in and add our blocks. This block is already created for us. We just have to change the heading to policy links or to policy pages. Now we can add a new block and we are going to add in menu and we're going to want to link a different menu. So let's link in shop. I will also change the name of the heading here. And as you can see, we have a new block. Another block that you can add into your footer would be brand information. And this would show your social media icons up here. Another option is to add some text. And this includes a heading and subtext, which you can use to discuss your brand. This is incredibly useful for SEO purposes. Adding a text block is great for SEO purposes and to provide a little bit more information about your brand, especially if any customer lands at the bottom of your page. Once once you've set up your footer and you like the way it looks, go ahead and click save. And now you can exit out of your dashboard and double check how it looks by viewing your online store. And that's it. You have now created your professional footer in Shopify. While that may be a lot of steps, I hope I made that easy for you to follow as well. And if you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I wanted to remind you that we do have an exclusive offer where you can get your first three days free and your first month for just a dollar. Just click the link down below. Also, be sure to check out the links to our favorite e-commerce tools as they can be super helpful while you grow your brand. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more tutorials on Shopify, please click the like and subscribe button down below. Thank you so much and happy footer making.